I am telling you right now, I'm very concerned about the potential for big, big trouble this weekend in London, the likes of which I've never seen on any remembrance. No matter where I turn on the news, there's tension, there's build-up, there's talk, there's commentary all over the place, some good, some bad, but there is commentary. I did a video about this a few days ago, specifically about the situation. And I want to follow up on some of that now. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining me once again. Good to see you as always, and I appreciate the support. Well, this weekend, we've got that event coming up where we remember our fallen. We remember those heroes that gave everything for our freedoms, our futures, and look where we are now. We are in deep trouble. There's no other way of putting it. Now, the mainstream media are doing what they always do, very good at doing what they always do, winding things up to a crescendo. And wherever you look at it, we're prepared for the fact that there could be disruption, there could be demonstrations in London, which will ruin remembrance and i hate to think what could happen if that actually transpired it's all centered around this sacred ground the cenotaph sacred ground for all veterans in this country you do not mess with the cenotaph we've already seen earlier in the week just stop oil uh, got purloined around there and nicked and carted off throw them all in jail that's what i say but it, again, serves to build up tension. What is going on and where is this going? I know veterans myself that are going there at the weekend, and I fear for their safety, to be honest. I want to go through some of the comments that some of you left on the video the other day on this, and, uh, you know, we get a sense of feeling. So let's bring these up and we'll have a look now together, as we always do. Now, this is the video uh, I brought up. Uh, Brian Reed. I'm a veteran. Thank you for your service, Brian. And my late father was away from home for five years fighting in the Second World War and wounded over three times. He would be rolling in his grave to see how pathetic our country has become. Uh, gays get more privileges and veterans. All we ask is one day to honour the sacrifices made by our fallen young men and women. God help those that go against us. We will show protesters what real warriors can do. You know, this is concerning that it's heading this way. It really is. Uh, Daz Ryan, the response from Khan and the Met for anyone questioning BM or anything else are two examples of what will happen. The police will be used to target those protecting British heritage and culture. You know what? You make a very valid point there. And I want to point out uh, a video that Paz did. Uh, yesterday, uh, past 49, ex-army guy, my pal, go and check his channel out. And he said there appears to be a two-tier level of policing. They will treat them a lot differently to the way they treat us. And we'll see how that maps out in the coming days if anything happens. Now, let's go back uh, to the other comments. Uh, got lots of replies where people are, you know, the feeling is... Here we are, uh, Catch-22 again. I'm a veteran and come from a long line of military in the family. I had an uncle that died as a fighter pilot and one imprisoned overseas during World War II. I had a brother that died while serving as a Marine. I served during the IRA conflict. If this government doesn't ensure the London streets are safe for us to remember our fallen on this very special occasion and allow mob rule to disrupt it, then I hope that things kick off big time. That is the fear that they could. The UK is a tinderbox at the moment, and it's only going to take one little thing to set off a massive problem. I've been very careful with some of the words, uh, but, you, you know, you can read for yourself. Tim Lodge, I think if there is an issue due to a certain group of people in the country, there'll be a huge backlash. Uh, it's we're very slow to learn as Noel Wilcox said, but by God, when we do. Uh, Andrew Dutton just shows what Khan and TfL think of our country and those who served and died for it. TfL should be 
putting on more services, not closing stations. Yeah, I bought that the other day, but calm has turned our capital city into a third world country. The disturbing thing was I saw on uh, the news the other day that he's apparently leading over the Conservative uh, nomination for the London mayor. God help us, but we'll come to that. Christopher Farrington, 9270. The shutting down of stations has been done on purpose and not for a good purpose. It's a disgrace. Uh, Raymond Duffy, stations wouldn't be closed and veterans dissuaded from attending under any other mayor. Khan is a disgrace. Get him out. See where the blame's being levied. Uh, sad, many said many times, and it's the honest truth, only people who should be running top positions in England are persons who have no less than three generations of ancestors in their blood, person who knows and respects our way of life and traditions i bet you will never in a lifetime see an english person running a country from this day forward and rightly so time to be loud and proud a lot of tension in these comments folks and understandably so the way to get best possible return from a march is to get the general public on side not to act like a petulant child the up and coming Demos, therefore not a demo, but an act of defiance against the general public. If done on this particular weekend, this needs to be addressed for what it is and slapped down. If there are clashes and troubles on the day, then this is the sole responsibility of the authorities who failed to stop it. The outcome lies completely in the hands of local authority, stroke police, stroke government. Uh, Britt Bazza, we need to have our army recalled to London to defend the cenotaph for the memory of our fallen. This has to stop. We'll do one more and then uh, leave it there. Uh, Graham, five generations of service in my family, including me. Anything occurs during this weekend will mean the end of any tolerance to anyone involved and will likely ignite a national backlash, the likes of which we've never seen. This is the problem. This is the tension that's building because of this, all of it. And again, I put this on the screen, what it's all about. This is the centrepiece of all of this and the worry that everything is going on. And to clarify, I'm not ex-military, not serving military. I was going to join uh, when I was 16, the Air Force of all things. Oh, dear. My dad, ex-army, both my grandfather's ex-army. My great grandfather, ex army, great uncles, ex it goes back generations and generations. So, this matters. This matters to everybody. We'll have to see what happens. Stay safe, everybody. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave comments as you do, and share it around. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.